What's up everybody, it's Mr. Magoo and welcome to today's Gears 5 video. It's that time of week again where we find out what's in store in Gears 5 from May 25th through the 31st. But before I start, I wanted to ask how is everybody doing with the start of Operation 7? It's been a week already. How did you like it? I'm actually enjoying it. Let me know what you guys are feeling about Operation 7 so far. Now this week's versus event, they are taking out the Osak with exploding heads. Uh, this time it's going to be the Golden Gun with mutators. As we all know, Golden Gun is actually a really, really fun game mode. It's really challenging as well because you know you can't aim. You can just blind fire it, and you know it's if you get a shot, you 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 kill them. If not, then you have to wait for the reload, and it takes forever. And by that time, somebody will probably kill you. Their description, Golden Gun is a team-based event where you are given one gun, your Golden Gun. You can only blind fire it. Should you hit an enemy, you'll instantly kill them. Miss and you have to deal with an extremely long reload time, so make your shots count. This isn't your ordinary Golden Gun event. We've added some fun mutators for, the, for you to use. You have the Confetti Headshot. Score a headshot with your Golden Gun and you'll be rewarded with a confetti effect on the person you just killed. Gun sounds. The golden gun will make unique noises as it fires. Golden hour filter. A golden gun means a special filter and for this we're turning your game into a delicious golden color. That's actually, I'm actually looking forward to that. It looks like it's going to be fun. These mutators to me, I've been having a lot of fun with them and it started with Osak. Uh, it, it's just fun to see all the effects that you normally wouldn't see. But adding these, I think, was a, was a really, really cool thing to do. And I'm having fun with them. Now for the Horde event, the Horde Frenzy on the three new maps is going to continue for one more week. So back for a final week, we'll be providing a special playlist for you to play Horde Frenzy on the three new maps added exclusively for this event. Atrium, Turbine, and Command. Now, you will have this last week to finish the exclusive metal group, granting you access to the Relic Weapon Skin Set. And I think that Relic Weapon Skin Set looks really, really cool. Uh, if you look at it really close, uh, the designs are, are really, really, really nice. So, But the medals are Frenzy, Carnage, you have to do 3 million damage in the Horde Frenzy event. Frenzy Hoarder, you have to collect 500,000 energy in the Horde event. Operation 6 Tour the Horde. Win one match on Atrium, Turbine, and Command in the Horde event. Warden Body Count. You got to get 20 Warden Eliminations in the Horde Frenzy event. I haven't started on this. I'm slacking. I have to get going. I want those Relic Weapon Skins. I'm a collector, so I kind of have to start this. I've been slacking, so uh, I got to get moving on this. Let me know if you already finished this. But once the event ends next week the maps will be playable in private matches as well so don't think they're just going away they are going to put them in private matches for anyone to use for the weekly store we're going to see the debut of the desert armor character skins and we're going to actually have three this time uh, it's pretty good to see to have more than one or two characters having three is it's pretty cool so we're going to have the desert armor keegan for 250 iron the Desert Armor Lani for 250 iron. And the Desert Armor Mac for 250 iron as well. You're going to get the Veni Vidi Vici banner for 200 iron. And the Brass Knuckle Mark for 125 iron. I mean, these, these characters actually look nice. They, you know, having a different character skin to what we're used to, especially with these three. You know, you've only seen them in the Hive Busters DLC with their... With their high buster armor it's good to see some change to them but like i said before if you have the iron to do it it's up to you if you want to get them if not then you can wait one week or if you don't want to waste your iron you can wait for next week to be available for gears coins as well now for the feature store we're going to have the return of the desert scion he's going to go for 250 iron or 2,000 gears coins. Also, we're gonna see the return of Desert Armor Co. for 250 iron or 2,000 gears coins. The Tiger Legacy set for 425 iron or 3,400 gears coins. The Swarm Pod Blood Spray 
for 125 iron or a thousand gears coins. The shoot here mark for 65 iron or 500 gears coins. And the shoot it here, dispara aquí in Spanish for 65 iron or 500 gears coins. Now we've seen these before, they are returning them to the future store. Like I say every week, the feature store items, they're not gonna bring them back unless they bring them back in another operation. So if you missed this the first time, uh, you wanna get something, go ahead because you we don't know when they're gonna bring them back. They're gonna bring them back. They can bring them back next operation or maybe not. So make sure you take advantage if you want something. Now for, for the Gears Esports store, nothing's gonna change. Everything is pretty much the same. We're gonna see the savage the black steel savage cantus for one more week i really hope that they bring in new black steel characters and i think they will but i'm just you know hoping since they they usually take about two weeks to update the gears esports store so i'm actually excited to see what character or what black steel character and chrome steel characters are coming out not sure if they're going to be releasing any more chrome steel characters since they already added them into the tab uh, but if they do add any more Chrome Steel characters, uh, I'll be excited for that. So if you don't have your Black Steel Savage Kansas, you have one more week at the price of $2.99. That's pretty much a good deal. So that's pretty much what you can expect this week in Gears 5. It's the second weekly store of Operation 7. Let me know what you guys are thinking about Operation 7. Are you having fun? Do you like the new competitive ranking system with the leaderboards? Or would you rather go back to the ranking system that we had with the Gears points? Also, let me know what you think about the weekly store. We did get three characters this week, the Desert Armor characters, but we kind of knew that already with the roadmap, with the picture that the Gears Twitter had provided us. What other characters do you want to see? What other characters do you want to expect in this coming in or in the coming weeks? Uh, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications on when I upload another Gears 5 video. Thank you so much, everybody, for the love and support. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you all on the next one.